So today I'm going to be doing another Q&A video for you because I have had a ton of requests recently and it's been a while since I've done one. So if you want to see more Q&A videos in the future, be sure to like this video or let me know in the comments so I know that you guys want to see more of them. And I am so sorry if I don't answer your question. There are seriously a lot of questions to go through so I'm going to do my best to answer as many as I can. Um, and if I don't answer your question, I'm going to try to go back um, on Instagram and answer some in the comments. Um, for you guys and stuff so so yeah Marina Ruth asks what are my college plans well as some of you may know I'm in college right now and there's a lot of exciting things that are going to be happening within the next couple of months um, for instance I'm taking my last class until I get my associate's degree and then I'm changing my major to media management and I can totally thank YouTube for helping me figure out what I want to do with my life um, and that would involve transferring schools and transferring schools would involve moving. So there is seriously like so much that's gonna be going on. Um, I haven't really talked about it much because nothing's like set in stone yet, but once it is, I promise I'll like give you guys full on more like updates and stuff. So I am super excited for the future. I feel like there's just there's a plan for my life and I feel like I'm on the right path to it and and yeah. And do not worry, I'm not planning on stopping YouTube anytime soon. Um, I will definitely still be doing that through all of like the changes and stuff, but but yeah. Gianna8181 asks if I'm going to LA IMAX. And yes, Gianna, I actually am going this year and I am so excited because for the past two years, I've had a cheer competition in Florida both times, the same weekend as I met. And I was so sad that I couldn't go, so I finally can go this year and I'm really excited to meet a lot of you guys. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a huge makeup convention and all the makeup is like discount or most of it's discounted. Um, and a whole bunch of YouTubers go and stuff, so it's super fun and that's in January if you were wondering. Kaylove64 asks, have I ever learned to skateboard or bike ride? Well, here's something most of you probably don't know about me. I was actually a huge tomboy when I was growing up. Me and my best friend would skateboard and bike ride or paintball and play spot. Like, seriously, I was a huge tomboy. I hated anything girly. I don't know what happened. Just magically, it just actually YouTube happened. I'm not going to lie. Like, YouTube happened and I found beauty videos and now I'm a little more girly, but I was a huge tomboy. And we would skateboard and I honestly really liked it. Like, it was so much fun. But I haven't done it in forever. Like, I haven't been paintballing in who knows how long. I want to go skateboarding. Like, but I have no one to go with. I don't know. Mia, we should go. Or any of my other friends out there watching this, let's go. Text me. And, like, like I'm so down. I really want to. Allie Claire asks what my favorite amusement park is and what my favorite ride is there. I feel like most of you already know this, um, especially if you follow me on Instagram because I pretty much live there. I'm posting pictures there all the time. But Disneyland is my all-time favorite amusement park. I have an annual pass and I feel like I'm there almost every single week. I actually run into a lot of my subscribers there, so if you ever see me at Disneyland and you think it's me, most likely it is because I'm seriously there all the time, so you should totally come up and say hi. Um, and my favorite ride there is Indiana Jones in Disneyland. Like, Indiana Jones is my all-time favorite. I know a lot of people love Space Mountain, and I love that too, like, that's my second choice, but Indiana Jones, just, there's more to it, you know what I mean? Like, just the music, and the ride, and, like, everything about it, I seriously love it. Caitlin Phillips asks about my first kiss. Well, Caitlin, let me tell you, it was very awkward. Story time real quick. So, I was a freshman in high school, and I liked this guy and it was kind of a weird relationship we're, we're gonna call him Jake okay we're gonna call him Jake it's not his real name but I mean I don't think he would care but just in case we're going with Jake Jake was new to the school that year and you know I kind of talked to him a little bit I was like hey you're cool and then come to find out he's like oh I play guitar and I'm like I play guitar this is meant to be blood state we were both musicians we had something in common you know um so <laughs> So, it was one of those relationships where you totally text the whole time, but then in person you like don't say anything to each other. <laughs> yeah. I'm ashamed to even say that I had a relationship like that. He asked me to be his girlfriend, and I'm like, sure, basically, that's how it went. Um, and then later that day, like when we were leaving, <laughs> it was so awkward. But like looking back, it wasn't that bad. Like I've heard way worse stories, but I just remember going through it. I like was freaking out, I had no idea what to do. Um, so I was like, okay, bye. So we gave each other an awkward hug because it's awkward, you know? And then I like kind of go to like pull away and he just like pulls me close and we're like this. Like I'm not even kidding. We're just like staring at each other. And you know, okay, you know when she's the man, that like awkward couple at the end, how they kiss all like, like just, <laughs> that's how that kiss was. It wasn't even like a, oh, I guess we're going to kiss kind of thing. It was just like a, 
well, this is really awkward. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah. And as you can tell, that relationship did not last long. It was actually exactly a week, so I don't even count it a relationship, but that was my first kiss, if you were wondering. So the next question is from It's Brooke, and she asks, who is my favorite non-popular YouTuber? My favorite non-popular YouTuber right now who I think deserves so many more subscribers is Arlene San Jimenez. I'll have her channel in the description box. Please, please go subscribe to her and tell her that I sent you. Honestly, she is one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life and she isn't in YouTube to get famous. Like, And that's what I love about her. She like puts 110% effort into all her videos and she loves her subscribers and she's just having fun with her videos. So definitely go check out her channel. She does beauty and fashion also. Um, and yeah, definitely think she deserves so many more subscribers. And the next one is from Twitty Bird and she asks if I would ever consider getting a tattoo. I don't think I've mentioned it in a video before, but it's probably not a surprise. I don't have any tattoos, but I have considered getting some before and like really considered getting some. And the thing is, every single time I'm about to, or not about to, but really like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a hard word. Committing to getting one is, is that I just can't picture having one for forever. Forever is a huge, like, that's a long time. Honestly, if there was like a five year tattoo that's like semi-permanent, I'd be down. I would totally do that. Um, I don't know, I don't know. If I was to get one, it would be, you know, like on the rib tattoos, like on the side, on your side, um, where it's really like dainty, cursive, like super small. I, on, like, that would, that would be what I would get. And I would either get a quote that means a lot to me or a Bible verse or something. And it's weird because it's not that I don't want what it would be. It's just the fact that I would have it for forever. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll just suck it up and finally get one. Like I still would like, I don't know. I don't know. Adam Mares where is one two three four? I know I said that wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, asked how I met Mia Stammer and Sierra Furtado. Well, Mia, I met at a holiday party last year. I feel like I've known her so much more than a year. Like seriously, but I haven't even known of her for a year. It's weird, but we're like super close now. Um, and we met at a holiday party, but we didn't really like talk after that because we just like kind of like met then. But then we ended up doing a shoot together with Style Hollow. They were different shoots, but they were like filming on the same day. And we were talking and she's like, oh, I live here. And I'm like, what? I live right here, which is like right next, like it's the next city over. So now we pretty much hang out all the time on a weekly basis. And she's the one who usually films my videos. Um, yeah, so love you, Mia. And Sierra, I actually met for the first time in June, but we had talked kind of before that, um, like through Twitter and YouTube comments and stuff. Um, but she came down for Generation Beauty which was in June, and all three of us went together and stuff, and yeah, so that's how I met them. So that's all the questions that I'm gonna answer in this video, but if you wanna put more questions in the comments down below, I'll do my best to answer a lot of those for you. Um, and yeah, again, like this video if you want more Q&As in the future, and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.